Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrocker in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link. Boy, what a beautiful day today. Topping out in the mid-70s, just gorgeous. Big changes are on the way. We are taping this as of um, 9 o'clock in the evening. Clouds are streaming in, but it's quiet, it's dry. I'm not expecting any precipitation this evening. And even during the overnight, we'll stay dry. Uh, looking at uh, you know, Newport Pell Bridge, see the clouds that are on the increase right now. But uh, again, cool and quiet with the temperatures at this hour that are in the 60s. High temps today, not bad, mid and upper 70s for daytime highs. Uh, significantly cooler for tomorrow. In fact, we'll never even make it to 70. We're thinking um, mid to upper 60s. That's about the best we can do for Thursday. And that'll be coupled with some uh, heavy rain. So here's the breakdown. No uh, issues this evening. On Thursday, we'll bump up the threat tracker to uh, yellow uh, weather alert. Not that we're expecting any extreme or severe weather, but... I mean, certainly high impact in terms of uh, travel. Uh, widespread showers likely, some occasional downpours, an isolated thunderstorm. We're thinking an inch or two of rain over a short period of time. So there may be some localized uh, minor street flooding. So we'll keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, we take a look at the satellite photo, which is showing just these high, thin clouds streaming in right now. But um, on the dry side, here's the wider view. And you can see uh, really most of the northeast in New England is dry, but the uh, moisture that we're tracking is um, really in two pieces. Uh, one system across the, the Midwest and the Great Lakes, and a second system, area of low pressure developing uh, near the Carolina coastline. Both systems will merge on top of us for Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon, and that brings the... Uh, the high likelihood of some uh, rain, embedded thunderstorms, and some downpours. This is uh, not the actual radar, but future radar, what the radar will look like into the future. And you can see all that moisture consolidating on top of New England by uh, Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon. And those elements of um, some red and yellow and darker green indicating, well, some downpours. We get a more hyper-local look starting off this evening. I'll take you through the overnight. And uh, clouds on the increase, but dry. As we uh, jump ahead to 7 o'clock in the morning, there's not much rain, but it's just offshore and knocking on our doorstep. And notice it spreads inland, becoming uh, widespread and heavy. This is 9 o'clock in the morning. Then watch the radar light up in colors of yellow, orange, and red. Those are downpours and some embedded thunderstorms. And that may create some localized street flooding. This is um, 11 o'clock in the morning, early afternoon. Still uh, thunderstorms and downpours. At, uh, this is about 2 o'clock. Showers linger into the early evening, though it's not as widespread, and then everything is slowly pulling out of here later Thursday night. This should set up for uh, drier, better weather coming up on Friday. For tomorrow morning, uh, rain likely for your Thursday morning. Heavy at times. I think the heaviest rain is from roughly uh, 9 o'clock in the morning until about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And then during the afternoon, periods of rain, heavy at times, and an embedded thunderstorm, and just unseasonably cool Daytime highs only mid and upper 60s. Better weather on Friday. Saturday's nice. And right now, Father's Day Sunday, um, we're not calling this a rain day or even a washout, but there's the chance of a scattered shower. Right now, we're leaning towards a mostly dry day, but a scattered shower, leaning towards more of a late afternoon and early evening. But some partial sunshine through the clouds should boost the temperatures up on sun, uh, Sunday, Father's Day into the uh, upper 70s. Still several days down the road to kind of tweak that a little bit. In the meantime, quiet for tonight. Definitely grab the umbrellas for tomorrow and uh, certainly allow for some extra travel time, some reduced travel speeds, and the potential for some at least localized minor street flooding. That's the latest Weather Now update. Thanks for logging in, and we'll talk to you soon.